that again? <laughs> okay, we need approval for the $150,000 out of CEDIC that is uh, project number six and the CETA plan for $150,000. Um, and it just is for a, a truck and it's not a power for washer. power washer also. So the truck came in at 144, 416 and power washer was 69.39. Um, and uh, so it's a little over 150,000, uh, $1,500 over, but he's gonna get the overage out of his, his budget. When's that truck supposed to get here? 45 days. They used to take 100 days to get a truck, and they're saying 45 now. Okay, so we need to prove it. Where's that coming from? Selking was the low bidder over Freightliner by, uh, oh, I think there was six, seven, eight thousand dollars difference. Every everything, yeah. W. A. Jones uh, hydraulics, the bed, the underbody is fully outfitted. Yes. Well, I make a motion that we approve the hundred fifty thousand out of seated for the new truck and power washer. And Mike, you pick up the difference in what's left over out of your budget. I second that. It's moved and seconded. Any other questions or discussion? I have one question, and that is, how much higher is a stainless bed than the standard bed? About four thousand. I forget the so exact price, 39 39 something like that. So that's something down. we may want to look at in the future for some of the smaller trucks, huh? Yeah, and we're replacing, uh, Kevin's doing a lot of work on some of the beds we've had now for 10 or 12 years, and he's taking steel and scabbing it on there, you know, and places that have weakened because sure. of salt and stuff. So uh, a lot of the counties around us are doing that now. Uh, this will be our very first one. So it, it, it's a good one to have and to watch. Okay. So your plan is for next year you'll get another one, like the same type of bed next year, or do you not? Yeah, and with the 150000 again, a tandem is going to be too much. So we'll end up going to that single axle again with a, with a better engine horsepower. Be probably exactly the same thing, but great for us, and we appreciate it. You won't lock in a price for one for next year yet, would it? Probably? You know what? There is a law uh, that I can tell you guys about. You're allowed to buy off of the bid from this year, uh, and all they have to, to do is okay that, but uh, whatever that price was that came in that bid this year, we can actually order one for or next year at the same price as the bid taken this year. So we can, we can you actually, didn't do it. pardon me? You didn't do it? No, not yet. No. I didn't know that I could actually okay. with the seated funds the way they are, but all they have to do is say okay, and they've already told me that they would. Um, and that would save us the whatever increase there'd be in bidding next year. So you should do that in the latter part of the month of December? Yes. State, yeah. Numbers. Yeah. The only thing I'm a little worried about, and you've heard me say this before, is look at your other equipment. Yeah. I mean, it worries me that you've got guys out here running equipment that's unsafe. I mean, that this looks to me like there's a lot of uh, liability there that could cause the county more money than a pickup or a dump truck. Yeah, back goes an example. Yeah, so, and that's why I try to go even to the group that was in here before you guys and talk to them about that kind of thing because uh, it's $10,000 a mile to seal. If, if I buy a backhoe out of our money, that's eight miles that aren't gonna get sealed. We're down now to where we're gonna do 30, 35 miles of sealing. It doesn't take very long, and you don't have a sealing program. Um, if if you start purchasing uh, some of the things that we need, so Kevin has done an excellent job in repairing some of that stuff. A lot of those trucks have had their third engine in them now. Some of them have just gone to the second. So yeah, some of those trucks look like they've got would have a lot of miles, but again, they're also on a third engine, and we're able to replace those, keep using the body. And so they're, they are much safer than what their years would tell you that they are. But I think we're doing the best we can in trying to run a sealing program and also trying to get equipment. And we've had a lot of help through the seated program, through redevelopment, and what you guys have, have approved. So I think we're doing the best we can. Can you come up with some kind of a, a long range uh, site of where you think you'd like to start replacing 
your equipment, you know, like maybe next year you're talking about another truck, but yeah. backhoe, whatever you need, you know, see where it's at. Like sort of like the sheriff's department gives us an idea on the mileage of the the automobiles, the sheriff's cars. We need to know what you're looking at, what you feel is important at this time. Right. Like a replacement schedule. Yeah, and we yeah. can do the, also. Uh, you know, we can re we can get an engine uh, that goes out for maybe eight thousand dollars. You know, a uh, single axle truck's one hundred fifty thousand. So for us, sometimes it's smart to replace an engine and not just say, "Oh, this truck's got two hundred thirty-five thousand miles on it," and get rid of it. So sometimes for us, it's it's just better to replace that engine, maybe get ten, eleven thousand dollars in it, uh, put it back put it back out again, but I can put all that down. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Okay. We still have a motion on the floor. And, and there is a second. A second. There's a second. There's There's a second. second. Do we need it repeated? If not, everybody, all in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. Opposed the same. I'm sorry. It passed. Yeah. Would you be a big yeah. 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 <laughs> you, you may. It's unanimous. Unanimous. Okay, anything else, George? I'm all done. I just say, you, you sure? ruined my pain. <laughs> <I'm> sure. <laughs> oh, by the way. Okay, uh, Jim.